So looking ahead from this point onwards, uh, we know there are different types of, uh, and using this term feels far-fetched this morning, Dan, but different ty types of peasters, cold peasters, warm peasters, all sorts of different arrangements, right? Not even peace. What should Israel do? Not uh, after October 7th. Now, uh, uh, March 21st. Well, to my point of view, we should accept the idea of a Palestinian, a demilitarized Palestinian state in the long run and start to create uh, a stronger uh, uh, Palestinian authority. Yeah. They're not going to be Zionists. And at first, they're not going to change those books. This is the reality of it. First of all, create a non-zero-sum game engagement with the Palestinian Authority. Yeah. And from there, we can give them hope. And if we don't give them hope, they'll keep on fighting desperately. Uh, there are 7 million Arabs in this area controlled by 7 million Jews. It's not and, sustainable. And yet, Lieutenant Colonel Hirsch, is it indeed uh, um, the reality? Where Israel should expect the fact that in uh, the uh, um, uh, curriculum, the Palestinian curriculum, uh, there are uh, um, um, open calls to murder Jews, or should it be enforced strong-handedly? I, I, I refuse to accept that as a reality, that we should forever live with these people that we fund, that we give them all of the money that they have for their existence, teaching their children to murder our babies, women, children, and to rape them. I think that is a reality which we should never have accepted in the first place. And if we allow that to be the reality from now on going forward, we will return over and over and over again to the October 7 massacre as Hamas has promised to do. That is not something that we should do. We should be ensuring that that idea is entirely eradicated. We should not be enforcing and forcing on the Palestinians a entity which they don't want. Look at the results of the survey again. 73% are against this idea of the US and Arab countries strengthening the PA. The Palestinians hate the Palestinians authority. That is a reality. It is not bringing forward peace to discuss emboldening this entity which seeks our destruction. It is really looking for a solution where none exists in, in, in that neighborhood and perpetuating this idea of never-ending violence, murder, and terrorism, and eventually the destruction of, of, of the Jewish homeland. That is not a reality that I would like to see going forward, and I think it is a wrong approach entirely from its foundations. Gentlemen, on the sidelines of it, extremely briefly, uh, really, one paragraph each, let's put it that way. Um, uh, there is uh, this uh, growing disagreement, confrontation even, on whether to allow or not to allow uh, visitations for, for Nukba terrorists. This is something that is uh, putting a spoke in the, the, the wheels of uh, London-Jerusalem uh, relations. Uh, really? With 134 hostages, sh should Nukba terrorist uh, conditions uh, be respected? Maybe? Maybe the answer is yes. Well, it's a, an interesting question. All right. Who do we want to be? Hmm. It's not about them, it's about us. It's about us. Do we want to be like Hamas? Or do we want to be Jewish? Do we want to dictate our own value system? Or do we take other yeah. people's value system? That is the question. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Hirsch, your take? It's absolutely unreasonable to allow anyone from the from the Red Cross into vi in to visit any of the prisoners. This is something which is immoral, immoral. This is an organization that refuses to ensure visitation yeah. at the, the Israeli hostages. And yes, we should, yeah. uh, in this game, play the same rules as the terrorists play. It doesn't say anything yeah. about us. We're well, providing them with food. We're providing them with shelter, right. not allowing a, a hostile organization into the prisons isn't immoral. Gentlemen, uh, conflicting views and yet uh, with utmost respect and interest to one another, thank you uh, for this uh, discussion. We appreciate your time and insight.